everybody, it's Jane Dagney, Editor-in-Chief of Designers Today Magazine, and I am sitting here with Nick May. Hi, Jane. Hey. Who usually asks the questions. I know. Nick May is the founder of the Chaise Lounge podcast, among many other things. <laughs> but um, Nick, when did you start the Chaise Lounge podcast? So the Chaise Lounge podcast started about three and a half years ago. And it was really just a way to market my painting business. I'm a paint contractor in yes. Denver. Yes. And so three years ago, and now it's a podcast focused on the business of interior design. Yes. How many designers have you interviewed? Well, I don't exactly know the precise number of designers I've interviewed, but we are, I think, at about 240 episodes and typically one designer per episode. And how many episodes do you air a week? We do two shows a week. We release on Tuesdays and Fridays. Okay. So a painting contractor, now very ensconced in the interior design world, how did you make inroads into that market? Well, I used to do live events in Denver and trying to help promote myself to designers, we would bring speakers in and we would try to help them build their business. I thought if I help designers build their business, then they would like me and they would have a tendency to bring us out on projects for painting. Um, yes. I had a podcasting background. I had another podcast I had done probably six years prior mm -hmm. called Small Business Naked, where we would interview successful, um, successful just entrepreneurs mm -hmm. from Inc. Magazine and Entrepreneur Magazine. And I just kind of married those two ideas of doing the podcast with live events in Denver, and thus the Chaise Lounge was born. Thus it was born. So um, you're, when you start a new business or a new venture, you have an idea of what that might be. Right. So whatever your idea was and what it actually has become, right. are they different? Are they the same? Could you have guessed? I, I, you know, you always hope that it, something is going to be bigger than it actually is. Mm -hmm. um, and so I, I kind of went into it thinking, I know this is going to market my painting business. I kind of had something in the back of my head that goes, okay, you're really going to be talking to designers all over the country. That doesn't necessarily fit 100% perfect for the painting business in right. Denver. Yes. And so I really went into it not knowing where it was going to lead, but I had this feeling that it was going to do good things. It's, that's actually so interesting. You know, regional painting business, national, almost international. It is. Region, we're actually you know. downloaded in 130 countries. Yeah. So I know that. Um, education, student life, and just developing that next generation of designers is important to you. Yes. You're starting the Student Lounge podcast. Tell me a little bit about that. We had the idea back in January to do something for the student population mm -hmm. because while we were talking to designers that were in their career, and I did have a lot of students that were listening to the podcast, I kind of had this feeling that the content wasn't 100% um, relevant to the student like right now. Like it would be great to understand how to build a business later, but as sure. they're coming out of school, not necessarily pertinent right now. Right. And so I thought, why don't we do a podcast that's run by students so they can ask the questions that students want to know. And I ended up finding a great student to, uh, to be the first host yes. of the Student Lounge podcast. And now we're actually working with another student um, out of Atlanta. So Trish is actually in South Carolina, mm -hmm. so she's not in Denver. Um, so we're coaching her on how to do interviews. And then we're working with another student that's in Atlanta that we'd like to bring on. And eventually we would, would like to have several students that do interviews. I love this. I love this. I can't wait to listen to it. It's, I can listen to it now. Yeah, it actually just went up on iTunes last week. And so we have about, I think, four episodes up now, and we will be releasing that one on a weekly basis. Mm -hmm. And then as soon as we get another student on board, then we will probably do twice a week for that podcast as well. It's amazing. You're really doing a lot for the industry. And I just have to, I'm gonna address the audience now because if you're not listening to his podcast, The Chase Lounge, you've got to. Um, I, as an editor, learn valuable things every time I listen. I mean, it's very inspiring. And so, you know, I just encourage anybody who's watching to go to your podcast. Well, yeah. I tell people that it's it's a great podcast for designers to learn how to do their business better. Yes. But it's also a great resource for anybody in the industry. I run into people all the time that are brand new in the industry, mm -hmm. a salesperson, a rep, an inside salesperson. 
and they've come into the industry and they don't know what it is for a designer to run their business. Right. And if you're going to sell to an interior designer, what better way than to understand Definitely. what they have gone through to start their business and grow their business? You're totally, I, I'm, I'm with you. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> well, thank you for being here. Thank and you so much, Jane. I look forward to being on your podcast yes. in the near future. We're going to do it. Okay. And then you guys can learn all about Jane Dagny. <laughs> Thanks.